Hi everyone. Probably used by Schubert as a means of suggesting the aimless wandering described by this song's lyrics. Both the omnibus and Fogler progressions are used in close proximity, beginning with the Fogler progression in bar 57. After a cadence in bar 55 in the work's tonic key G minor, Schubert introduces part of an ascending Fogler progression, which is almost identical to this section of Fogler's own example found in his Handbook of 1802. The only difference is in Schubert's bass ascent, where he omits the note F-sharp and the F-sharp dominant 7th harmony it would support, moving instead from F to G, which has been displaced by an octave. After the A dominant 7th harmony, Schubert then concludes the progression with two perfect cadences in G minor. Framed by the tonic key, this progression then may be heard as a largely chromatic section located between G minor's tonic and dominant chords. The prolongation of C-sharp diminished 7th harmony inherent in the progression structure includes only its root position and 1st and 2nd inversions, all of which resolve to 2nd inversion minor harmony, the root notes of which outline a G diminished triad. The chord's root notes also partially divide the octave into minor thirds. This chord should probably be heard as an E-flat German augmented 6 chord sounding after its chord of resolution, and this chord may be heard as a secondary A dominant 7th to G minor's dominant. The classic omnibus progression, beginning in bar 70, like the Fogler progression, follows G minor tonic harmony, which moves through a secondary first inversion G dominant 7th chord to C major harmony, beginning the progression. This progression is almost identical to a textbook classic omnibus, which includes second inversion G minor harmony as its third chord. For the initial chord, however, Schubert omits the 7th degree, using only a C major triad. He also notates this E-flat dominant 7th as an E-flat Italian augmented 6 chord, and notates this chord as E-flat dominant 7th harmony, but may have again been thinking in terms of an augmented 6 chord sounding after its chord of resolution. Here he also uses first inversion C major harmony, moving to a series of cadences in G minor. Schubert's progression also predominantly uses only three parts, with the voice initially doubling the piano's repeated G notes before sounding B flat. This progression then may be heard as a prolongation of C major harmony, G minor's major subdominant. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.